Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Josh from Serious Greenhouse Solutions. I am back in Pagosa Springs, Colorado at the Vesta Build. Um, things slowed down for a little bit. There's a lot of weather. Now they're ramping back up. Exciting things are happening. Windows are in. Insulated metal panels are starting to go on. I'm going to walk you around some of the details so you can see what the house looks like as we get more and more finished. To start with, we'll talk about windows while we're here. Um, with the Vesta build, we put the windows in first. They have a fin around them. You can see it's taped. Um, ease of install from the outside. There's a screwing fin and you just screw around the windows. And tightness. We then sandwich that window fin with the insulated metal panel. The goal of the house is that it's incredibly airtight. Uh, passive house concept is that you have a very tight house and then you control air movement in and out with uh, HRV and ERV, um, which is what we'll be doing here. And once all said and done and the house is dried in, we'll actually be putting a blower door test to this house to see how tight it actually is, to see if we are hitting passive house standards or not. And we will continue to improve the design as we learn more and more about these Vestas as we build them. Um, the middle row of windows, these thin ones, are all awning windows. And they all live inside the greenhouse. So they're in the greenhouse. The greenhouse roof goes over them and hits that piece of heavy gauge steel above them. Those windows are motorized and controlled by the SunSense smart controller that we provide with the Vesta house kit. Um, on a day like today, where it's actually quite comfortable, but the house might want a little bit of heat, the greenhouse is going to have a lot of heat today. Step one of heating is going to be potentially that the controller vents open those windows and heat will flow into the house. It might be all the heating the house needs for the entire day, which is the goal of the vestibule, is to have comfortable living spaces with the least amount of inputs possible. The highest windows also vent. So if the house ever becomes warmer than you want, and like here in Pagosa, we get cool evenings, you can open those upper windows and vent the heat out as the temperature's cool to let the cool air back into the house. So those let heat out of the house, and these are going to let heat into the house via the greenhouse. Um, I'll take you for a walk around, show you what's been happening, and so you can start to get a better feel of what the Vesta is going to be when it's all done. Okay, so we are currently on the northeast corner of the house. You can see here the north wall is now clad in insulated metal panels. Windows are in, and the window trim is almost completely on. The kit comes with the windows, with the sliding doors, with the insulated metal panels, and the trim. You can have matching trim. This is matching color. You can pick a different trim color for the trim if you want. Um, you can also see that the east wall is not paneled. So you can see the framing with the windows and then a finished north side wall. There's a little more flashing that will go on to cover up the screws along the bottom and along the edges. But this gives you an idea of what this house is going to look like. Um, overall, we're very happy with how this thing is looking. Again, as you can see here, these are four inch thick insulated metal panels, R8 per inch, which gets you to an R32 building. The way they interlock in the walls, it's a true R32 around the outside of the frame, no thermal bridging. Um, I'll show you some more detail shots of how the windows go in, how the panels go over it, and also what it looks like from the inside, so you can start to get a feel for how the whole Vesta kit goes together. So we're gonna walk. We're gonna walk in to the north side of the greenhouse. Maybe a bedroom at some point. Into the interior portion of the Vesta, just to show you what frame plus insulated metal panel looks like. Um, this really can be a finished situation if you're okay with the style. You can paint the frame maybe before the insulated metal panels go up. Or not, this is galvanized, but we can also offer it uh, primed, so it will look gray, but it will take paint much easier. The inside of the inside of the panels are a white, glossy finish, and so it can be 
while industrial, a finished situation if you want. One of our goals with the Vesta is to design a house that functions as a passive style house with appropriate overhangs to provide shading in the summer but sunlight in the winter with what we think is um, high levels of insulation so that the air exchanges in the house are dictated by the homeowner or the mechanical equipment installed by the homeowner and not by just passive air exchanges because of bad insulation. Um, but we also wanted to keep this house affordable or as affordable as we could because housing obviously is expensive. So one of the ways we do that is a slightly more affordable window. So again, vinyl windows, double pane glass. A traditional passive house would have probably a metal interior, exterior, but with a thermal bridge and a triple pane window with no heat transfer. They're really nice windows. They're really expensive windows. If someone wants to take their Vesta to the next level, we can easily upgrade the window order into a more um, high performance window. But as the base kit, the goal is that this is a house that people can afford. Um, that is still a high performance house, but it's not over the top with all of the added things that a traditional passive house would have that would put it out of the price range for what we hope is the average person who needs a home. Um, now that it's in and I was playing around with it, they're, they're quite modern in their levers. Um, I'm actually pretty happy, really happy with with how these look. This and also how they're packaged. So they're, this is the mechanical crank. It's very well protected for shipping. This window is maybe in a bedroom, upstairs bedroom, or maybe an office study. Uh, this is a hand crank. This one you'd be hand cranking. This other one here you'd be hand cranking. The clear story windows uh, at the top of the house and the clear story windows of the greenhouse have a motor that will attach to the same crank. And with the controller, you can open and close those windows um, with 12 low voltage wiring and the controller. You don't have to get on a ladder to open and close those windows. So anyways, finish north wall of the greenhouse, framing, window in, insulated metal panels. There it is. I think it's also worthwhile to comment on the ceiling which also translates to the structure of the house. This house was designed for 90 pounds per square foot of snow load and 110 mile hour winds. And that's our base engineering for the Vesta. For 95% of projects, we won't have to adjust the engineering, which is part of the kit mindset. We wanted to pay for engineering once and not have to pay for full engineering over and over again. Very few places have snow loads over 90, and most places don't have wind loads over 110. We can make adjustments as needed, but it's a really strong, no pun intended, foundation for most people looking to purchase and build a Vesta.